Okay, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Uh, so I received a couple comments on my last video about the Xbox, the Midnight Drive bundle on the Xbox. Uh, so I'd like to address those. Uh, there was a couple questions on the comments about how to how to get the content, how to get it on your Epic Games account. So you see here on the computer, I'm signed into my Epic Games account. And over here on the connections, so I came over here on the right to the connections tab and you see here I connected, I linked my Xbox account to my Epic Game account. You see I have a couple of links. Don't pay attention to Twitch. I'm going to blur that out anyway. It is not right, but you see my PlayStation, my Xbox, and my Nintendo account are connected on my Epic Games account. It says Fortnite, but it's my Epic Games account. So I did that before I signed into the console, but you don't have to. You can do it all from the console before you claim the content. So here you can see on the Xbox app, let's move this over, this should be over here. On the Xbox app, if I link up to my Xbox S, Series S, I'll show you where you can find it on the Xbox. So during the setup process on the Xbox, it, it asks you if you want to claim it and you can click later. So you don't have to claim it while you're setting up your Xbox. And that'll give you time to create an Xbox account if you don't have one and to link it to your Epic Games account. So you can create an Xbox account. Let me see here's Fortnite. Uh, okay. I'll go into that a little later. Uh, so you create your Xbox account, let Fortnite download, let Rocket League download. Um, and then I think you can link your accounts through that, go into Epic Games and link your account through Epic Games. I mean, um, I'm not too sure how to do it from the console because I didn't do it that way, like I said. I had already linked my accounts before I even set up my Xbox. To me, that was easier. So I'm not 100% positive on the steps to go through to link your accounts. But if I had to guess, I would say that you would let Fortnite download, let Rocky League download. After they download, when you go to sign in, go to sign in with Xbox. And then that will link your Xbox to your Fortnite. But I can't be sure. I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. The way, like I said, the way I had already linked my accounts. So I knew when I signed into Fortnite with my Epic Games account that my Xbox account was already linked to it. So if you skip it in the setup process and then go on the phone or on the computer and link your two accounts, your Microsoft, the Microsoft account that you just created with your Epic game account, then just to be sure, I would do it that way just to be 100% positive. This way, once you actually claim the content from the console, it will you you be sure that it'll be linked to your Epic Games account. And then, like I said, you don't have to claim it right away. So you see when I go into my settings and I come to account here, over here it says included with this Xbox. If you go inside there, it shows you here the content. So here you have the Fortnite Midnight Drive and the Rocket League Midnight Drive. And it will stay here until you claim it. No one else can claim it. There's no download code for it. No one else can claim it. So down here where it says more info, instead of saying more info, it will say claim. So once you're all set up and ready and everything, then you come in here and you claim it. And it links it to your Xbox account. 
uh, and and your epic games account so it's linked to your xbox account and your epic game account um so it's very important that when you before you claim this you make sure that your xbox account is linked to your epic's game account and like i showed you here this is the way to make sure as long as it says disconnect it's connected so as long as your accounts are linked once you claim the content on your console it will go automatically to your to your epic games account so the other question that i had was what about the stuff from PlayStation? So you see my PlayStation here is also linked to my Epix game account, which if you have PlayStation content, it should already be linked. So any content you have that from PlayStation, it will go onto your Epix game account and from Xbox. So you won't lose any content switching to Xbox on your Epix game account. As long as the two are linked, all the content that you acquired from PlayStation transfers to the Xbox through Epic's game. So your content is linked to your account and it's also linked to PlayStation. Because the other important thing is the V-Bucks that you get with the bundle because you get a thousand V-Bucks. And, whoops, I'm trying to do it with the, You also, for the Midnight Drive, you get a thousand Rocket League credits. But the way Epic Games does this is these this thousand V-Bucks. So you should be aware if you don't know already. This thousand V-Bucks will only be available to you on your Xbox console. So you'll only be able to use this thousand V-Bucks from Fortnite on the Xbox. You could not sign into PlayStation and then it'll show up on PlayStation. It won't. So if you have V-Bucks that you purchased on your PlayStation, they will not show up on the Xbox or the phone or the Switch. The way Epic Games handles their V-Bucks is wherever you purchase the V-Bucks from, if it's the phone, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox, so if you purchase your V-Bucks on your Nintendo Switch, they only show up on that Switch. They won't show up on the phone. They won't show up on Xbox. They won't show up on PlayStation. Same thing with all platforms. So wherever you purchase them from, if you purchase it from the PlayStation Store, that's the only place you can use those V-Bucks. PlayStation, if you purchase it on Nintendo, you can only use it on Nintendo, Xbox, your V-Bucks don't go across your Epic's game account. I don't know why Epic Epic Games does that, but that's the way it's set up. So you can't, the only time you can choose where you want the V-Bucks to go is if you actually go onto the website and there's a website and it says redeem, redeem V-Bucks. So you can redeem V-Bucks on Epic's game website. And it will go into your account. But when you do, it's going to ask you, where do you want to use those V-Bucks? So any account tied to your Epic's game account, you have to choose. So if you load a code into the website, it's going to ask you, do you want to use it on PlayStation? Do you want to use it on Xbox? Do you want to use it on Nintendo or the phone? It knows everywhere you've signed in. And it will ask you where you want to use those V-Bucks. And it will only let you use them wherever you choose. So you have to be a little careful. They're a little weird with that. Um, so I hope that helped. I hope that answered the questions. Again, just so you're sure, settings, account, and right there, clear as day, included with this Xbox console. And there's the content. And then once you claim it, it will look like this. But uh, like I said, you don't have to you don't have to claim it until you're ready. It will stay here until you're ready. So don't don't feel rushed or don't feel you can set everything up first, get everything connected and then claim it just to be sure that you are getting it on the right account. Because also once you claim it, whatever Xbox account you sign into, it will be tied to that Xbox account. 
So if you have more than one Epic Games account and you sign into a different account that's not tied to this Xbox, it won't show up. So just be sure before you claim it that you have it on the right account. Uh, so again, I hope that helped. Uh, but I'd like to talk about some other things in other videos. If we go here to my games, since we're here, <laughs> we're going to do this. Uh, oh, what would happen there? No, okay. So you see here, I have my internal storage. Then I have a USB storage for pictures and stuff. And then I have an expanded storage. So I had talked about this in another video. So on the expanded storage, I was saying, because I, I keep hearing that you can't play uh, content that's optimized. But you see here, you can't play. So what I keep hearing is that you can't play com content that's optimized from uh, a storage device. So I'm going to show you in a minute that you can. So here's my internal storage. And this was content that I found out that I couldn't play from the external storage. So all of this content, Back for Blood, Fortnite, Forza, this would not allow me. And also, this is a good time to show you. These are the four games that I have on my internal hard drive. And it's taking up 54% of my internal hard drive. So just know that space is definitely, uh, storage space is definitely an issue with this console. But for me, it's no issue. I'm not gonna be playing all of these games. You know, I'm gonna play one at a time and then I'll remove it and install something else. But, Oh, so I did that kind of fast. You see down here, Seagate expansion drive. It's a four terabyte hard drive. And just to show you, so Sea of Thieves is optimized for Xbox. Zombie Army 4 is optimized and Rocket League. So also let's look to see. So I'm gonna start Sea of Thieves and you see it's starting just fine. You'll see here in a second when it starts, it's it's running off of my external hard drive, which everybody says is not possible, but it is possible, but only certain games. Certain games you can't. So the games that I showed you that were on my internal hard drive, those games I was not able to start from my external hard drive. So the way I tested it, when I downloaded it, I downloaded it to my external hard drive first. I have everything downloading to my external hard drive. So you see here, it's loading just fine. I downloaded everything to my external hard drive and I tried to start it to see if it would start. It, when it didn't want to start, it would tell me, no, this one has to be on the internal. So at that point, then I moved it to the internal hard drive. So that's how I was able to find out what games I had to have on the internal and which I didn't. And you see, this is one that I haven't. Okay. I actually don't want to show this just yet. Let's go home. We'll shut that down. I haven't actually started that game yet and I'd like to stream that. So let's quit. And then just to show you that it's not a bunch of, I'm gonna go here to manage my library. And then I'm gonna go down and I will start another game. Let's start Zombie Army. So you see on the bottom, these are games that I have on my external hard drive. And you see there, it optimized for Xbox Series S and S and no problem. No issues. It, these games would start a little bit faster, but you can see they're already fast. It's just nothing slow. But they would start faster if they were on the internal. They would be faster. So, I mean, that is... And that external drive is not an SSD. 
it's a regular 3.0 a usb 3.0 hard drive it's nothing special it's not a game hard drive it's not it's just a storage drive the seagate expansion storage drive um but yeah look you see no issues no issues let's go back home and so outside of rocket league those are the only well let's see let's go back so all of these that are on the internal the and now i'm on the internal you see on the bottom left it says internal storage these are the optimized games that would not start from my external hard drive and I guess we may as well since we're this far into it I didn't want this video to be too long but so the last one I have that is optimized is Rocket League and I'll show you well, starts up fine from the external hard drive no problems how many games is this going to work on I don't know how, which which why it happens or what I don't know but it's just not true that all optimized games have to be on the internal hard drive so you should know that uh it won't be too big of an issue let me see i hope i turn the music off because i already got copyright yeah okay good deal there's my there's the exclusive content on the car which i actually showed on a different video i have that paint job on it but it's a nice car. Those are the rims. It's nice rims. But I have another video showcasing the content that you get on the Xbox. Um, and the last thing I'd like to talk about was the... I had made a video saying that the games wouldn't let me stream. Certain games wouldn't let me stream. Which was true. But I found out that it is a bug. So I did some more research and I finally found it so it's a bug if you start a game let's see if it does it so I can show you what it does let's see um, where sorry if I'm a little slow I'm still getting used to my Xbox and it's the UI in my Xbox so if I sign into my twitch let's see oh Okay, we'll go to broadcast. Uh oh. See, something went wrong. Hopefully there's no information on here. <laughs> okay. Something went wrong. Let's try, we'll go home. Let's try, I want to try a game that it told me. So, this one. So I tried Back for Blood. And so you can see here too, look, uh, the other games started up fast. They were on my external hard drive, they were fast. This one is on my internal hard drive. And it didn't doesn't look much faster to me. But let's go home. Well, it's doing that. And let's see. Oh, let's see. I think there's a way to broadcast from here. Game capture. No. Okay, well, let's go to the Twitch. And see. Okay, see now it's not even letting me broadcast at all. Error code, something went wrong. So now I don't know what I have to do. I tell you, this is my only problem with this console. It's so hard to get content out. I don't have any trouble. My PlayStation doesn't give me any trouble like this. And that's the only way you can stream I can't stream to YouTube from Xbox. On my console, on my PlayStation, I stream straight to YouTube when I want to stream. I can record videos, no problem. 
with this console when you record videos it doesn't record microphone no usb microphone this is my biggest problem with this console other than that i do really like it this has been a great console but just sharing content they make it so difficult and i really don't understand it but i guess that's gonna do it like i said it is a bug um i don't know i'll try uninstalling and reinstalling the software i don't know it's a bug and there's a lot of workarounds uninstall reinstall restart your xbox uh, i'm gonna try that first i guess um and then it, it also that time it was telling me the error altogether but before it was telling me that this game didn't allow me to stream it would tell me you know it told me that on three of the four games that i tried so yeah i made a video on it if you want to know a little more about it i don't know how good the video is you know but uh because i was asking what to do so now i i know what to do anyway guys i hope this information helped uh till next time